Hey guys, Stephanie here from Escape and Paint. How is everybody today? I am shrinking that down just a little bit more because it just seems obnoxiously big. Especially considering I'm still playing with the setup, so y'all forgive me. Um, if you guys don't mind coming in and saying hi and letting me know what the weather's like where you're at, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, yesterday on my live, and it was kind of late in the day, I was talking about some of the, the little finds that I'd found, and I thought, you know, the summer's coming, we've got spring break, I know a lot of people are babysitting grandkids, or having grandkids over, and, and doing visiting and things, and for me, some of my fond memories were doing things with my grandmother when I was growing up, or my grandparents, uh, I remember coming in as my grandfather was finishing up cookies once or twice, uh, I lost a grandparent on each side when I was eight, about six to eight weeks apart. So I remember I spent a lot of time with my mom's mom, my grandmother. And then I spent, and we lived next door to my dad's dad, who was my poppy. Uh, and I just, I remember doing things with them. And those were just pleasant things, just pleasant memories. So to me, it was like, well, you know. I remember we would do a puzzle every now and then, or we would play card games and things like that. So maybe a, a 99 cent puzzle that could be painted and put together that they can then take home and have as a keepsake of that memory. That was kind of my thoughts um, on that. And then uh, I'm just, I love peacocks. So I got a peacock. I've got several other little puzzles over there that, One's for Zoe to paint. I just, I know she's going to have a fun fun time putting that line together. Even if she doesn't paint it, she can put it together. So last night I started on my peacock. And I think today you can kind of see in the right light when I shim. I, I did it at, at, at the mermaid tail green. And then I did the blue metallic over it. And it gave it that, that, yeah, I think that's it. Right here where it looks almost green and iridescent. It gave it that iridescent, yeah, you can kind of see it better today. When it was wet last night, it just really looked kind of shimmery. And that was it. You couldn't tell the iridescence of it. But today it looks a lot better. All right, so I'm going to put these pieces back together since I've got that much of it done. And this part goes in here. I'm going to slide it down. I'm going to put that one on here. And I'm going to slide it down in place. So we had worship service this morning. We had several of us had brought our own meals and we all sat in our, in our building and ate our lunches and visited. And that was just kind of cool. Okay, maybe I'm doing this backwards. Just doesn't feel like it's going on that right. Because it's not standing flat. Yeah, it's supposed to go in further, so hang on. There we go. So it does not go down on it. It goes on across. I was like, wait a minute. This is not looking like the right thing. This bird is going to be really strange looking if this is how it goes together. But that's not it. Got to get that in just a little further. Okay, because there's that tab there in the middle and they go up against the tab and then it leaves these little things out for the rest of it to hit. And of course it messed up the paint. So anyway. All right. Step two. We need... Okay. 
Where's piece 95? No, it was B6, sorry. Okay, so this one. So I've got B5, and these three go in here, like, and I think I have decided that I'm just going to put it together and then paint it because this is going to mess up the paint, I'm trying to put it together. So. So, okay, got the center one on, got to get the side one pushed down, and it does have an outline for the eyes there, so you got to make sure you got the right one on the right outside piece, so. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Okay, now it's on. Let's get the other outside piece on because it was way harder to get on when that middle piece was on. And that middle piece went in fairly easy because it sticks up just that little bit higher. There it goes. There we got it. Okay, and then this goes in the front here and slides in there. Okay, so I will have to go over all that. I have to wonder if I have these sides on wrong now. I think I do. I think I have them on backwards. So hang on. Well, I guess you should put it together first and then paint it or paint all the pieces, marking them as what they are so that you know which ones go assembled together in which order. Because I pulled them out and was putting them together and just assuming that one side was the same as the other. And like the eyes, I could figure out real easy which side was which, but... Apparently the legs on the bird go a certain way or he's not going to stand right. So, there we go. And it does work much easier when, and it does stand straight and flat and it's much better when you do it the right way so there we go starting to take some shape all right and i will go back and go over this i think with the green and then the blue it won't hurt for him to have some extra shimmer on there okay step three is oh boy a9 which one is a9 
That was B, so this is A. So it's going to be over here on this sheet. A9 is this one. And you get eight, four, and one. B8, B4, and B1. And these are like wings for on the side. So here's A9. We're going to put B8. Which way does the... Okay. B4. Oop. And B1. And it is not showing me whether this is rounded. Yeah, it goes this way. And this one goes on this side. And then we're going to take this other piece, which is B2, and we're going to get B3, A2, and A7. We're going to take and put them in Whoop. they have a little notch in there that kind of helps grab it just right on the wood helps to hold it in just right as it slides in the grooves and they get notched together. There we go. And then next is taking this one. And then you're going to place I think it's just the A and the B. I think it's just all of these. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and 11. Now, leave that the. Now, these have a slightly crooked one and a straight one on them, so I'm trying to lay them all out the same way. I may take this back apart and paint it after I get to paint it, after I figure out where everything goes and have everything labeled where it goes. But right now, I think it was easier just to figure out how to do it. And I don't think any of these is any particular bigger or smaller than this. So, facing the front, I think the curved edge Let's 
<clears throat> comes from the bird. So I'm going to do it like that. And then I've got that little curved edge, and it looks like in the picture that the curve is coming out from the body. So that's how I'm going to put them all on here really quickly. As you guys come on, if you'll say hi and what your, what your weather is there and what you've been doing so far today, I would love to talk with y'all. Oh, that one I did backwards. See, I'm, I'm distracting myself. All right. I'm going to have to go back and paint this. I wanted to get it built because I was having such a hard time figuring out what problem piece was what. And I figured then I could make amendments because I started painting it last night and then it didn't work so hot. So I think what we're going to do, I'm going to do is get these done, get it built so that I can then say oh this is this piece and it's supposed to look like that and oh this is that piece and it's supposed to look more like that Whew. but i did really like how the the peacock the mermaid tail and then the Ice blue, no, it's sapphire, extreme sheen, it's sapphire worked really well for that. One, two, these are going to be really snug, it looks like. I think they had them the other way, so maybe we did it backwards. I think I did them backwards, y'all. Learn. I think I have decided that art is kind of a therapy for me. And I think for me, doing art and having you guys come on and visit with me while we're doing art is therapeutic to me. And I would just, I like how it can offer you some quiet healing time. That works a little better. I don't think it's going to work a lot better. I don't know. Let me see. swap on how well it goes on and how well that does. Does that do better? Nope, I don't think that looks right. Okay. So... Oops. So I've decided to go ahead and put it together completely and then I'll take it apart to paint it again if I need to, but I needed to establish which pieces went which way and which way I needed to get them in and get them together because I already put the, the body together backwards once. <laughs> So I think what I'm going to do is just get it kind of put back together. Or get it together. Let's put it that way. Mm 
And that's the other thing here. There. They seem like some of them are farther apart than others. because they don't have any of these in particular numbered so I think they're all just the same size I think we're supposed to pop out these little circles, but I'm debating keeping them in and trying to paint them. I think they'll be cool. Okay, that looks like it's all of the pieces out of that one. Let's get this one. And this one. Okay, it's, oh, it's gonna be snug. That's what that's going to be. Really, really snug. Oh, my word. Okay, my son's calling, guys, so hang on one second. Hey, buddy, what's up? Do you have any shoelaces? I'll have to look and see. Well, I need them today. Well, give me one second and I can go look. And I'll, I'll call you right back. Okay. All right. All right, guys. I got to run. Somebody needs something. All right. I will post a picture of the finished. Well, actually, hang on. Because I think this is all we got to do left. And then I can take it apart and paint it. But from Harbor Freight, a really cool. And I think I just kind of have to rearrange these and angle them a little bit more for them to fit a little bit better in there. He's kind of cute. I got to get it painted though. All right. I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great afternoon.